What's the matter? Oh, come on in. It'll be fine. Our new house. Want to see your room? What do you mean? Why not? Just make your last home better. Two movers. One sec, okay, babe? Hello? Hey, is this Maggie Richards? This is she. What? We were expecting the truck this afternoon. That is completely unacceptable. I refer a lot of business to you guys. Yeah, well, I'm disappointed too. Hey. So the movers can't deliver the rest of our things until tomorrow. So how about we camp out in here tonight? Yeah? Okay. Why don't you go play a game or watch a movie on your tablet and I'll go unload some boxes? Ava, when are you already decorating your room? Eva? Eva? Don't. You, you'll get hurt. Please don't do that. It's grass. A grass landing. No. One. No. Two. She's please. right, Ava. Oh. Oh. That's enough for now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Sylvia. I live across the street. Maggie. Hi. Well, I was passing by when she... I needed a push. She needed a push. So I hope it's okay that I came in. Of course. <laughs> We're neighbors. Yes. Thanks for the push. You're welcome. Oh. Oh. Thanks. She oh. always seems to be on the go. They usually are at that age. Yeah. So, are you uh, getting settled? Slowly, yeah. Well, you couldn't have chosen a nicer neighborhood. I've lived here for years. The faces seem to change. The warm atmosphere doesn't. I am sure that you two are going to be happy here for a lot of years. Oh, I don't know how long we're going to be here. Maybe just a few months. Oh. I flip houses. Well, now that we've met, you're leaving. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I used to just do it on the side, but now my husband and I just separated. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, I can't believe how long this place sat on the market. No, well, from what I understood, it was family entanglements. Huh. So if you're flipping it, do you have big plans? I mean, major renovations? Mom! Well, oh. 
I gotta go make sure she hasn't oh. gotten herself into any trouble. Go, go. Okay. It's, it's very nice meeting you. You too, I'll see you around. Okay. Is someone ready for lunch? <laughs> oh, now what's wrong? I was only gone a minute. Were you afraid I had left and I wasn't coming back? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. You know that'll never happen. Because what would you do without me, huh? princess was trapped against the castle walls and then the dragon swooped down to kill the princess but the prince rose up and slayed the dragon really was what he told everyone but really it was the princess who took the prince's sword and killed the dragon saving the kingdom i like that but why would the princess let the prince take credit for something she did? Well, that's the way things were back then. But eventually the princess grew tired of it, so she broke off from his kingdom and started one of her own. Are you talking about you and Dad? <sighs> Your dad and I, no matter what happens between him and me, all you need to know is that we both love you, and we will always try to do what's best for you. Don't you still love him? I'll always have love for your dad. Why do you say we get some shut eye? Lots to do tomorrow. Yeah? Okay, time to get you to bed. Night-night, baby. Love you. I'm, I'm really sorry. What are you doing in here? I thought this house was empty. I heard it would be empty. And when it wasn't, what, you tried to scare me? Closing all the windows, locking the doors? What? No, no, I just, I just came in. I'll leave. Okay, I'm leaving. Okay. Hey. Get the hell out of here. This, this door was unlocked. I'm calling the police. What? No, 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 you don't need to do that. I just needed a place okay, to crash. Okay, okay, okay. I swear to God, I wasn't gonna hurt you. Out the front door. Let's just talk for a sec, okay? I wasn't gonna hurt you. Why don't we, like, have a drink or something? I just... What are you doing with that? Hey! Keep walking. I'm gonna just talk for a minute. Have that drink. No, I think you need to go. No conversation. 
Hello there. How are you? Um, is everything okay? Have you seen anyone sneaking around our place? No, no. I haven't seen anyone today. Yesterday, or before we moved in? I, I'm sorry. My husband is taking his afternoon nap. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. So, uh, what is it? Windows seem to open and close on their own. Doors lock and unlock. First, I thought it was this squatter, but... Oh, my God, there was a squatter. Other flippers I know have experienced these kinds of things, and they usually blame it on the property's history. But I always thought that was crazy voodoo talk. <laughs> hey, you said you've been here for many years, right? Just for my own peace of mind. Is there any history on that house that I should know about? I mean, there's nothing in the disclosures that would be a red flag, like... Yeah someone dying in the home. Oh. No, no. Not the last owners. No one died in there. <laughs> as far as I know. What about the other owners before them? Let's walk. Sure. Veronica and Henry Thomas bought the house, fixed it up in the 70s. It was their dream home. And soon after, their baby daughter was born. How they doted on that precious girl. She was the light of their life. So what happened? Somebody took her. I'm sorry? Yeah, snatched, ripped from their lives. They're right out here on the street. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I, I forget that this is, this is very upsetting. It is. What happened to her parents? Oh, they destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Then, one day, they were gone too. <laughs> they just moved away in the middle of the night. The home is just not the same without little Cindy. She loved that little rose garden out back. But soon, they all withered away. Gone, just like her. You told me this was a good neighborhood. It is. I mean, after that day, the people in the neighborhood started locking their doors. But time passes, and they moved on with their lives as if it never happened. <laughs> so. Are you hungry? You know, I just made some deviled eggs. No, thanks. I need to go. Oh, excuse me. Well, another time then? I think you'll, you'll like trying my pasta salad. Hey, is Ross in there? Mm-hmm. Hey, yes. Yes, I'll get those uh, escrow documents to you later today. Maggie, my favorite flipper. How's a new home? You sold me a house that a girl was abducted from. What? You didn't know about this? Uh, no. It happened over 40 years ago. Shouldn't it have been in the disclosures? You would think. Yeah. And that's not all. The mother of the kidnapped girl moved back east and killed her husband. She's doing time in a Pennsylvania prison for second-degree murder. Wow. Let me pull the county assessor's report, try to figure out what happened. Please understand, I didn't know a thing about this. I don't want to lose you as a client. Okay. Thanks. How's Ava adjusting? We're making friends with the neighbors and the ghosts.
Ross. I'm at your place. Oh, I won't be home for another hour. Ah, uh, no worries. I'm just dropping off the county assessor's report for the last two sales on your property. Neither of them lists the kidnapping incident, so I'll have to do a deep dive to see why they weren't compelled to mention it. Could be because the uh, incident took place out on the street. Uh, I just thought I'd drop it off so that you knew I wasn't trying to pull one over on you. Okay, thanks. I'll take a look as soon as I get home. Okay. Gino, it's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's good to see. You alone? Where's Maria? She's still the one taking care of you? Out shopping? <laughs> well, is something wrong? Uh, something in here? No? Uh, this? Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Uh, top drawer. No. Middle? No. No. Bottom. No. No. What are you doing in this house? Jean let me in. Who are you? Where's Maria? I'm uh, his sister, and I, I'm taking care of him now. And more importantly, who are you? I'm Ross Towns. I'm sort of the unofficial neighborhood real estate agent. Ah. Did you say you were his sister? Yes, yes. Jean, you never mentioned her before. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, your visit is agitating my brother. You know, I've been working on your brother for years to try and sell this place. But I'm sure you wouldn't want to sell either since it's your family home. Did he tell you that? Our family is from Colorado. He bought this place himself some 50 years ago. Oh, that's right. Maybe I should talk to your other brother then. Oh, he wouldn't be interested. Why not? He's busy. Really? I thought he was dead died about four years ago. Jean told me. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Calling the police. You're not his sister. <laughs> please, let me explain. Jean, will you stop, please? Let me explain. I have all the explanation that I need. You're a parasite taking advantage of this poor man. Now I'm going to put an end to this. Are you okay? Did she hurt you in any way? <laughs> okay, everything's going to be okay. Just sit tight, sit tight. They'll be here any second, okay? She hasn't hurt you? Okay, okay, just, just sit tight. <laughs> 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 No choice. He was going to ruin everything. And you know, it's your fault because you let him in. Oh, I'm just like my husband, out to make my life miserable.
Henry didn't like the idea of me coming back home. He tried to stop me, too. I thought you were different. I thought you understood how important this was. Well, no wonder you were grumpy. You haven't eaten your breakfast. Here, eat up. Don't you feel lucky that Maria had that pesky immigration problem? Come on, bite, bite, bite. So I could step in and take care of you. What's the matter? Is it cold? Let me see. Yes, too cold. I think I'll heat it up for you. Can't eat your oatmeal the way it is because you didn't eat it when you were supposed to. Oh, when will she learn that she just needs to give me back my home? your oatmeal. I need you to eat. Eat this. Mm. Oh, is it too hot now? Whoa. Well, you know what? That's too bad because I can't have you grumpy. I need to be home. It's the only place that Sydney knows. Otherwise, what kind of a mother would I be? Look at the mess you've made. a roof over your head tonight? Come with me. I know a place. What are you doing here, Zeke? Hey. Our agreement is that you would always call first. Yeah, listen, I... I just found some things in storage that you and Ava might want. Dolphin? Ava's been wondering what happened to this. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Hey, listen. While I'm here, do you mind if we talk? Ten minutes? Cup of coffee? Ten minutes. Okay. This place isn't half bad. Yeah. But is it safe? I don't need you checking up on me. Look, Maggie, I'm a mess without you and Ava. Should have thought about that before stealing from us. I didn't steal it. I invested it. It was going to be repaid with interest. But you lost it. Look, I admit it was a bad investment, okay? It was my money, and money for our daughter's college. Barely clear the deposit on this place. Hey, I knew how much you needed. What, you think that makes it okay? No, but you also never gave me a chance to tell you why. That money was for us. It was for this family. If that investment paid off like it was supposed to, I could have left my job. No more traveling for three weeks out of the month. I could have been here. Could have been a better father to Ava and a better husband to you. You can leave your job at any time. Well, after 10 years and do what? Start over? What do you think we're doing now? Right. Tell Ava that I'll call her later and that I love her. Hey. 
I brought you my deviled eggs. Julia, you are too much. Mm. Hey, I just made a fresh pot of coffee. You want some? Oh, I would love some. Thank you. You, you really have done a lot. I'm getting there. It's amazing. Love this house. <laughs> oh, look at that. What happened there? Are you just doing work, or? Oh, well, it was just a busted fan. I think the wires need to be reattached. You should be careful of that. Huh. So, any more strange occurrences? Luckily, things seem to have calmed down. Oh. Well, you know, yesterday, I saw a strange car parked in front of your house, an older model, a uh, silver sedan. You know, I don't mean to be a snoop, but after our conversation, I thought I should tell you when I, I see I appreciate that. that, but that car belongs to my husband. Oh, well, I hope, I hope that went okay. I mean, I assumed that those conversations can be awkward. That is one way to put it. <laughs> so, is there uh, any hope for you two? Uh, think you might be moving back in with him? Moving with him? No. He travels so much for work that he lives in a hotel when he's in town. If we ever did get back together, and that is a major if, he'd move in here. Oh, well, that does sound like hope. I gotta take this. May I use your bathroom? Yeah, right ahead. This is Maggie. Yeah, if I could pick up those tile samples today, that would be great. I really appreciate it. Great. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Sylvia? Oh, sorry. I thought you disappeared for a minute. No, I'm here. <laughs> do you happen to have any cream or sugar? I do. Oh, good. Coffee's great, though. I'm going to call an ambulance. I got him. Oh, you found my keys. Oh, right on the counter, just where you said. If you're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Just stay strong. Thanks. I'll call Ava's school and make sure you're clear to pick her up. Okay, and we'll meet you at the hospital. You go get better. Thank you, Sylvia. I'd like to copy these keys, please. Sure. Surprise. <laughs> Where's my mom? Well, um, the first thing you should know is that she is okay. Something happened to her? You know, in her line of work, there are accidents, and she sort of fell, and um, the doctors are making sure she's okay, and she asked me to pick you up. Is that okay? Okay. Please do not worry. She's okay. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna handle sleeping while sitting up. Well, that is why they give you the good drugs. <sighs> How long is your arm going to be in that sling? A few days, and then a couple weeks before I can do any heavy work around the house. Oh. Thank you for doing all this. Of course. Now, do you want me to call your husband? No. He's away, and I want to put off hearing I told you so. 
Maybe this house really is cursed. Well, that might be the drugs talking. I wish it were. <laughs> you know, I thought if I just kept my head down and ignored it, it would all stop. And it had. God, I've really screwed up now. Maybe I should just sell and move on. Well, you'll have time to think about that later. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for rest. Are you counting five on the one, then move on to the rest? I'm counting. I'm... <coughs> What's the matter, baby? You okay? <coughs> <coughs> Mommy's gonna make you all better, okay? you to take a warm bath and then I'm gonna make you some soup and then we can watch cartoons. Huh? I'll go get that soup started. Okay, let's tuck you in. There you go. Good night, baby. Thanks, Mommy. I'm sorry? I said thanks, Sylvia. Good night, baby. Seen Ava? I just uh, dropped her off at school. Oh my God, Sylvia, you can't just take her like that. You scared oh, me. No, no, no. I left you a note. Here it is. See? I I didn't see it. Oh well, we both just wanted you to stay asleep. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Do you need my help today? No, no, no. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with this place, and with my life. You know, the small things. <laughs> Let me make you breakfast. Really? You've done enough. No. You have a busted wing. I'm, I'm making you breakfast. But your husband. Oh, he will sleep the morning away as always, and I'll make it back in time to make him lunch. <laughs> Maggie. Hey. What the hell? I just had a little accident. A, a little accident? You went to the ER. I'm glad you're concerned. How did you even? I stepped off the plane to get a call from the insurance company. It just happened yesterday. I was going to call you today, I promise. What have I told you about doing too many things on your own? Is Ava okay? It was a one-woman show. Okay. All right, so how are you getting along? We're fine. Sylvia is here to help out. Well, Sylvia? Who, who's Sylvia? That's me. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Sylvia lives just across the street. She's been an enormous help. I'm making breakfast. Do you want something? No, thank you. I, I'm, I'm good. I've already eaten. Listen, I have another red eye tonight, but now with this, I, I could cancel, take a couple of days off work. You can't afford to do that. I can make it work. Uh, the eggs. Excuse me. So what's her deal? She spends her entire life taking care of her husband. And so what now? She's taking care of you? I think she just likes to get out of her house. I appreciate what you're trying to do here. I'm still trying to take care of this family. We're not yours to take care of anymore. Okay. Uh, well, can I still pick up Ava from school? Spend the afternoon with her? Yeah. I'm sure she'd like that. Well, see, this is your problem right here. It's labeled wrong. You turned off the dishwasher, not the ceiling fan in the back room. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. 
I do. Hey, since I have you here, can you finish the install? Sure thing. Thanks. always wanting his little princess, huh? We can change if you want to. I think I'll keep it on. For him. Go play. Thank you. I couldn't resist. Don't you look pretty? I'm gonna fly to the clouds today. I wanna fly to the clouds today. Clouds today. Okay. <laughs> Way up into the clouds. All set? Yep. Great. This for me? Yeah. Thanks. One last thing on my to-do list. <laughs> Anytime. And uh, next time I would uh, leave this kind of work to the professionals. Have a good day. Oh, you, you too. Can you believe that guy? He never would have said that if I was a man. I think he would have said it to anyone who tried to do electrical work and dislocated their shoulder. Uh-huh. Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo! High enough, sweetie? <laughs> I've been thinking. Uh-oh. And I'm happy you have Sylvia, but she's not family. No. Helen loves her so much. <laughs> Hold on tight. No. She would love to spend some time with her granddaughter. Zeke, no. Please. <laughs> Go way high. Up into the clouds. Baby, are you okay? Hey, no. baby. You all right, honey? Where is it? It's your head. Get her inside. Is it your head, honey? Maggie! I'm coming. I'm getting ice. Cindy? Cindy? Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Watch your head. Watch your head. Where are you? Where? Okay. I got you. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's okay. It was an old swing. She should have never been on it. If I if I thought that that was I never want to see her hurt. I, I know. Really, it's okay. We've got it. Thanks, Sylvia. <coughs> it's okay. I know. I know. Did you see that? See what? She just stood there. Well, she's not a mom. She's probably just not used to dealing with something like that. And what would happen if you weren't here and it was just her and Ava in a real emergency? Is she just going to stand there in shock? I... <sighs> well, I know someone who wouldn't. Zeke. I'm calling her.
was this? Helen, Maggie, you're looking good. It's nice to see you too. Well then, hold on a sec. Since we're in a bit of an awkward situation with you and my granddaughter no longer living with my son, perhaps we could discuss some ground rules. Okay, sure. I'm here for Ava. From the looks of things, and from what my son has told me, it appears you need an extra set of hands to help with her. So, if she needs to eat, I'll feed her. If she needs to go to bed, I'll tuck her in. However, if you need your prescriptions picked I'll up, I'll take care it. of that. Good. Glad that was so easy. Mm, about what I expected. Now, could you show me to my room, please? I like to get settled before Ava comes home from school. Oh. Okay. Hello. Hey, good morning. Is this Maggie Richards? It is. This is Detective Gray with the police department. We need to talk to you. Don't go anywhere. Yes. Oh, hi. Uh, is uh, Maggie here? <laughs> no, she's not. She's out. Who are you? Uh, I'm Sylvia, the neighbor. I've been helping out. Oh, yes. And who are you? I'm Zeke's mother, Helen. Oh, it is a pleasure to meet you. And, you know, if you need anything at all, please ask me. I, Ava can be... Uh, Quite the little handful. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but you know, I'm pretty sure I can handle her myself. I raised an active boy. You know, I'm sure they're really grateful for all the help you've given so far, but I'm here now. Thanks. I just want you to know. Do you know Ross Towns? I do. He's my real estate agent. When was the last time you and him spoke? In his office a few days ago. And then we talked briefly on the phone the next day. Why? He's dead, Mrs. Richards. What? I, I don't understand. We found his body in the trunk of his car. A vagrant was driving it. Ever seen him before? No. What did you and Ross talk about the last time you spoke? He was dropping off some paperwork. He called to tell me he was going to leave it on my porch. And this was what time? Late morning, maybe 10.30. I got home about an hour later, and the paperwork was there, and he was gone. Why would he kill him? We don't know yet. We're working on it.
Please, Cindy. Where are you? Why are you not here, Cindy? It's because of that woman snoring in the guest room, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, she frightened you away. Don't you worry, baby. Mommy's gonna get rid of that old woman right now. I am so sorry to bother you, Sylvia. What can I do for you? Well, you know, I can't find my extra pair of reading glasses, and I, I'm pretty sure I left them here the last time. You know, time. I haven't seen them, but if I find them, I'll bring them to your house, okay? I would just love to come in and look for them myself. No, actually, I don't really want you to do that, well, okay? Well, it'll only take a minute. No, like I said, if I find them, I'll bring them right over. I think I left them upstairs. What are you doing? Who the hell do you think you are? I did not give you permission to come in. Get out of this house. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, I'm calling the police. I'm gonna have you arrested for trespassing. Oh. 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 What's the matter? Oh, I slipped on Ava's soccer ball. I think I broke my hip. Hold on, I'm coming. I don't frickin' believe this. Okay, I don't know what kind of games you're playing here, lady, but I've had it with you. Do you hear me? <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, 
Maggie. Maggie. What happened? They're saying she tripped on the soccer ball. She fell down the stairs. She broke her neck. You weren't there? No, I was out. She was alone in the house. Ava was at school. Uh, where's Ava at now? I asked Sylvia to take her for some ice cream to keep her away from this. Does she know? No. I thought you and I could tell her together later. We won't talk about the soccer ball. God, no. Of course not. Of course not. Wait, 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 wait. I... wait, wait. I'm her son. What is it? Nothing. Do you uh, ever see or hear anything or anyone in your house? I don't think so. Never heard the name Cindy? Um, I do think I had a dream the other night where there was a Cindy. Or maybe it was Sam. Was it a dream? Are you sure? Did you see a girl in the house? That's silly. Don't say that. Why? Because it's... It's rude. You don't answer a person's question by calling it silly. I, there are no dumb questions. I'm sorry. It's okay. Finish your shake. Hi, baby. I'll meet you inside in a second, okay? Okay. Oh. Sylvia. How is everything? And how is Zeke? Uh, about what you'd expect. Totally devastated. But I'm more worried about how to break it to Ava. I know, it's awful. Just awful. <sighs> we'll obviously be gone for a few days for her funeral. I just don't know how we're gonna live in this house anymore. Listen, you just tell me if there's anything I can do for your family. Okay? Thank you. I mean that. Thank you. We'll talk soon, okay? Oh, I hope so. Be safe. Okay, thank you. This is going well. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe, breathe. Oop. Ava. Mm. I'll be right back. Don't move a muscle. Cindy? Cindy? Are you here? I'm home. <laughs> and, and they're gone, Cindy. Cindy? Please come out. M Mommy hasn't seen you in so long. I, I want a big hug. Oh, are you playing hide and seek? Okay. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. I got you! <laughs> Cindy? 
Cindy, why are you doing this to me? Oh. Because it's still their home, isn't it? Yeah. Soon enough. Soon enough. They'll be gone. I promise. You got that one? Yeah. Hey, neighbor. Hey. I thought I wasn't supposed to see you till tomorrow. I weren't supposed to. Can you grab that for me? Yeah. Is, is everything okay? How was the service? Oh, the service was fine. Hmm. But as soon as we go back from the funeral, Zeke starts ordering me to sell the house all of a sudden, saying that Ava's not gonna live another night in it. Well, maybe he has a point. Maybe, but there's no way I can sell now. What do you mean? What? I spoke to an agent this morning, and he said that because of what happened to Helen, the house is toxic. So... There's no way I can sell it for anything close to what I paid for it. I can't take that kind of loss. So it looks like we're stuck here for a while. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. I mean, I'm glad for me. I get to keep my wonderful neighbor. vanilla latte and um is there anyone who can help me get on the wi-fi Sylvia, is that you? It's Hello, oh, beautiful. Oh, who are you? It's me, Mom. Oh, really? Get your hands off of me! Oh, oh, oh. Like it, Ruff, huh? Let me oh. 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 Yeah, you said you wanted to fight. I just didn't think you packed quite the punch. Oh. Oh. Come and get it, baby. Oh. Oh. Come and get it, baby. Get your hands off of me! Oh. You okay? Yeah, call the police. So, I need to ask if you want to press charges. Uh, yeah, why wouldn't I? Well, he says you invited him here. Excuse me? He says you two connected on an adult website that caters to people's more quirky sexual Wh urges. What? He says it's all part of a game that you requested. Well, he's lying. He showed me the post. What post? Didn't have your name, had the handle flip me up, flip me down. You flip houses, right? Mm -hmm. I swear I didn't join any website. Or... Along with your address, there was a description of the fantasy you wanted and a secret password you were supposed to say to each other. A password? Come and get it. Listen, 
I don't know anything about the password. Look, it's all on the website. I'm sorry, are you, you trying me. to shame me into not pressing charges? No, ma'am. I'm just or telling you Or maybe you're just trying to avoid doing your paperwork. I don't know. But regardless, I'm not saying that I had anything to do with that guy. Press charges. So since you didn't go on that website, someone else did, pretending they were you. Somebody must be trying to set you up. Who do you know that would do that? Oh, I have to go and uh, check on Jean. I'll be right back. I can't think of anyone who would do that. Are you positive? God, why do you treat me like this? Haven't I done everything I can for you? And why are you trying to keep me away from my daughter? She is so close. What is wrong with you? Oh, you've got to stop being grumpy. You have got to stop this. But I'm going to have to make sure that you are fed properly. Oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> I guess I just can't believe you sitting there. You just wait in here, and I'll be back to take care of you later. I can't even imagine what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Hmm. Well... Women in arms. Yeah. But with that crazy man breaking in, I can't believe you're staying tonight. And after all the things that have happened, I would be moving out and taking the first offer that comes my way. The thought has crossed my mind. <laughs> but I was thinking about what that detective said. Someone is doing this on purpose. Someone is trying to get me to leave. But I'm not going to do that. I'm staying. I'm going to find out who it is. Good. Good for you. We should get you to bed. It's been a rough night. I'll clean up. I insist on staying the night. I want to keep my eye on the two of you. <laughs> so sweet. Cindy, where are you? Please, not another game of hide-and-seek, honey. I've been waiting so long to see you. Come out, honey. I can't. Why not? This isn't my home. This isn't my furniture. Where's my swing? Where are the roses? Oh, honey, this... This is your home. And do you remember the picture you made? Look, baby, it's still here. And, and we can fix the swing and replant the roses. Where are you? Cindy? Right behind you. Oh, Cindy. You're here. Oh, you're really here. You. Oh. Mommy? What? Can you read me a story? Of course I can. Here, you hop into bed. We are going to have 
our whole lives to spend together. I'm so happy you're here. Everything's going to be just the way it was. You want me to read or do you want to start? Can you? Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Sylvia? Sylvia, are you still here? Cindy. Oh, whoa, whoa, where is sorry. She? Where, where's Cindy? Who? There. Are you okay? You were sleeping so soundly in there, I thought I was gonna have to throw some water on you to wake you up. Okay, well, I got a real busy day. I gotta get this little one to school. <laughs> I, I need my morning coffee. Uh, get this noodle started. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mom, gotta get my stuff. Okay. Sunday Thomas. Where is she? Where's Cindy? I've lived here for years. The home is just not the same without little Cindy. She was such a beautiful girl. She loved that little rose garden out back. But soon, they all withered away. Mom, let's go. Yeah, come in here. This is going to help. This is going to make you feel at home. You're my baby. These. a detective who used to work in the Mid-City District, Jack Arnold. Commissioner Arnold, he oversees the Western Bureau now. Can I transfer you? Yes, thanks. Ah. Flies. Oh, oh. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh. Hey. Can you pick up Ava from school? Yeah, of course. It'd be my pleasure. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks. Hey, is everything all right? <sighs> it's Maggie Richards. Sorry, I gotta go. This way. Thanks. Hi. Hi, can I help you? I've come to pull Ava Richards from class. Uh, my name is Sylvia Holmes, and I'm sure I'm on the approved list. Did my mom have another accident? Is that why you're getting me out of school oh, early? No, no. She asked me to pick you up early because she thought you deserved a fun day today. Really? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> what are those for? Oh, I thought you'd like to have a little photo shoot in a beautiful garden this afternoon. Maggie Richards, Deputy Commissioner Arnold. I appreciate you taking the time to see me on such short notice. Well, you had the correct password. Cindy Thomas. 
One of my first cases after I got my gold shield. Still haunts me, though, that we never found that little girl. So, are you one of these amateur cold case investigators? No, my daughter and I live in the Thomas's old house, and my neighbor, Sylvia Holmes, was around when the little girl went missing. But frankly, something is just off about her. I mean, she seems to know things about this case. I, I'm just curious, was Sylvia ever a suspect? I don't remember Sylvia Holmes. I remember Jean Holmes, who lived across the street. That's her husband. He still lives there. Well, that's interesting. Jean Holmes, I know. He wasn't married at the time. Did he have a girlfriend? No, no, no. He was a loner. And trust me, we talked to him a lot. Had an airtight alibi as far as the kidnapping went. What about Cindy's parents? Do you think they might have had any connection with Sylvia? Henry and Veronica Thomas were always suspects in my mind. But we can never prove anything. About a year later, I reopened the case after Veronica killed him. She claimed it was self-defense, but nobody believed her. I still wasn't able to make the connection between her and the missing child, though. And as for Sylvia Holmes, well, that's a new name to me. Maybe if I could just talk to Veronica, even though she's still in prison. Hmm, I wonder. What? Let me make a couple of calls, and I'll get back to you later today. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Commissioner. Sure. Now, you go clean up for the photos. I've laid out a beautiful dress for you to wear. I think Sylvia knows what happened to the missing girl. Wait, what? That's crazy. What makes you think that? It's a long story. Just trust me on this, okay? All right. I'm pulling up to the school now. We'll be over there shortly. No, no. Don't come to the house. I'm going to grab a change of clothes and anything else I can think of, and we'll come stay with you at the hotel. That's okay. Yeah, of course. I want us to be together. Me too. Sweet dear, don't you just look precious? So, how do you like your room? Everything's moved around. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just the way it used to be, except for this awful pig collar. But we can fix that later. <sighs> oh, wait. I want to see if you remember. Do you remember their names? Dolly? Yes, that's Dolly. And? Hannah? Yes. I want to go outside. Uh. I don't want to play with dolls. I want to play soccer. Cindy, you, you don't like soccer. Cindy. Who's Cindy? Yeah. Well, maybe you are a little too old for dolls, so are you hungry? Because I've made us a wonderful picnic. I made pie. Really? Uh-huh. What kind? Cherry. I love cherry. I know. I like apple. Oh, no, Cindy. You like cherry pie. Commissioner Arnold, got some news for you. Veronica Thomas was paroled over a year ago. Excuse me? Early release, good behavior. Where is she now? Parole officer said that she, uh, she did her time at a halfway house back east. And left and hasn't been heard from since about the beginning of the year. Do you have a current picture of her? Way ahead of you. I'll text it to you. Here's my cherry pie that you've always loved so much. This is good for cherry pie. Oh, how it warms my heart to hear you say that. 
Oh my god. That's her. That's Sylvia. I can assure you that's Veronica Thomas. Her name's definitely not Sylvia. Meg. Hello? Eva? What's going on, Maggie? She's got my daughter. I need all available units, possible hostage situation. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? We're celebrating. She came back after all this time. She came back. Your name's not Sylvia, is it? It's Veronica. Oh. I haven't heard that name in quite a while. <laughs> but because you're here, Cindy, I think it's only fitting that I go by my God-given name. That's not Cindy. Of course it is. Yes, look at her. It's my Cindy. Cindy? Who's Cindy? Oh. I'm Ava. Oh, why would you say that? Come on, you're Cindy. I'm not! Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Veronica, you don't have to do this. Do what? I, I am trying to have a nice, peaceful picnic with my daughter. And, and look, now you have upset her and... You've upset me, too. Please, I, I just want her safe. Oh, you mean she's not safe with me? I am her mother. It is my job to keep her safe. But you don't think I can do that? You don't think I know how to do that? I didn't say I know that. how to take care of my daughter, my little princess. Ow! Ow! Amy, get in the house. No! No! Oh, you've ruined everything! Veronica, stop! You've taken her away from me! No, I didn't. You're the one who took Cindy away. Admit it! What? You... You made up the story about her being kidnapped. That's... That's not true. What did you do? You did something to her. No! Did you kill her? No. I tried to save her. <laughs> oh, no! You... You've got to get off of there. Don't go in there. You cannot be in there. Get out of my roses. Get off of them now. You can't be on there. Please, you don't understand. You can't be there. I've lived here for years. Where is she? Where's Cindy? Please get out of my roses. She loved that little rose garden out back, but soon they all withered away. Gone, just like her. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, please. Don't do that. Please, no. This this is our special place. Sylvia! What are you doing? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, Sylvia, stop. Ah. Oh, no. Oh. Maggie, what the hell is going on? Oh, no. Please, Maggie, please. Don't hurt my baby. Your daughter is down there, isn't she? Oh, I, I was a good mother. I was only trying to help her. I want you to take a warm bath. I'll go get that soup started. Oh, I never should have let her have the pills and the cough medicine. Oh, hopefully she'll be feeling better by tomorrow. What happened, oh, Veronica? Please. Tell us everything. Uh, that's too much, honey. Cindy! The medicine made her sleepy. She slipped under the water. It, it, it was an accident. But I, I couldn't tell her daddy. Because I know what her daddy would have said. He would have said it was my fault. And he would have said I killed her. No, 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 
no. Oh, please. Oh, please don't. <laughs> you did make up the story about the kidnapping. I, I didn't know what else to do. They would have turned against me. Henry and the whole family. He would have hurt me. He would have hurt me. Was he going to find out? Was he going to hurt you? Is that why you killed him? The only person who loved me was Cindy. <laughs> Cindy. Cindy. I just... Come here, come here. Ah, stay here. I always, I always tried to do the right thing for you. I just... I wanted to be with you again so that I could make sure nothing happened to you ever again. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, baby. Oh. It's okay, Mommy. I forgive you. You do? I love you. Oh. I love you too. I love you so much. Take care of your little girl, Peggy. <laughs> All right. She came home. I always knew she'd come home. <laughs> ah, don't worry, baby girl. Mommy's coming home, too. I promise. <laughs> 